Hi, this is How to Play All My Love by Coldplay Part 2, and this time we're doing the verse. I'll keep it very simple. Um, I'm going to do this in three stages. The first stage is the easy one, and lots of people should be able to do this. We're going to start by um, taking uh, the, the, these top three notes. Uh, hold on. Let's do, the, but let's do the left hand first. So the basic chords are... Hold on. So the first four are B to E to C sharp to F. These are the chords, but we're just playing the bass note in the left hand. B to E to C sharp to F for the first line, okay? So finger two on B, little finger on E down here, okay? So second finger to little finger, B to E, and then thumb on C sharp, and then uh, ring finger on F sharp, okay? Nice and simple, get that first. Whoops. All right. And the second line is the same, but these two chords reverse each other. So it goes B to E again, and this time it goes to F sharp, and then it actually goes to A. It's the same chord, different bass note. We'll talk about that later. But let's just do that first. So B. So you're going to go B, B to E to C sharp to F sharp. Same again to start off with. Index finger on B, little finger on E. And then it goes ring finger on F sharp, middle finger on A. I'll do that second line again. So index finger on B, little finger on E, ring finger on F sharp, middle finger on A. That's your bass notes. Get that perfect first. And then I'm going to add the uh, right hand. We're going to do a simple version first. In fact, we don't even need that. This is, this is really simple. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to put little finger on A at the top, middle finger on E, index finger on D, okay? So A, E, and D, all right? And um, all we're gonna do the whole way through is just, just toddle. This is, this, this is the simple version, but it sounds pretty similar to what he does on the track. We're gonna play all those three, put my pedal down, and then switch to the thumb. And we're gonna do that all the way through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Most of the way through, okay? So um, basically then we're gonna put the bass notes in. So it's gonna go, uh, uh, we're going to do, we start off with the B, we're just going to go one, two, three, four, simple as that, all right, then we go to the E, little finger on E, one, two, three, four, thumb on C sharp, same again, one, two, three, four, and then lastly F sharp, but this changes very slightly, this hand, instead of playing A, E, and D, we're going to move down to C sharp, so we're going to be A, E, and C sharp, so, we have this, so we're going to have the... Um, like that. So when you play the last chord, oh, it should have been F sharp minor, sorry. So you've got F sharp in the bass, but we're now moving to these three notes on the right hand. Can you see that? So I'll run that again. We're going to go going from B to E to C sharp, and then we're going to move this index finger down to, from a D to a C sharp, and in the bass, F sharp. All right, that's the first line. Second line, Pretty much the same with the bass alterations on the last two chords. So we're going to go B, same again, to E, to F sharp with the ring finger on the left hand, and then ending on A. But then again, exactly the same, you move the D down to a C sharp on the right hand. Do you see that? So it ends like that. All right? That is basically what he's playing with a couple of alterations, which we'll do in a second. Pretty simple. A lot of people should be able to handle that. If you can make an octave stretch, okay, you play piano a little bit, you should be able to do this. I'll play it once through for you again. You're pretty much there if you do this, all right? So you pretty much got it now. I'm just going to add the little nuances. Now the first nuance, which is a little bit of a pain if I'm honest, you could leave this out if you want. It's maybe a bit of a pain for not much gain as it were, but I'll show you what it is anyway. So instead of doing this at the beginning, he, ch he has a slightly different pattern. It's sort of, because you remember in the verse we did this um, in the intro, he went. So your hand's there. Because of that, I think he starts, instead of going all the way up here, he starts by doing this. Okay, so instead of doing this up here, he's just doing this, and it's A with the thumb, D with the ring finger, E with the little finger, and then, and I've actually written it in here, look. Um, yeah, I have written it, so A, D, and E, all right? So he actually goes, if you look at this, it goes, 
slightly different to this to the pattern afterwards. So then, he, so what he's doing is he's going, uh, he's playing A, D, and E, and he's going chord. He goes, uh, how should I explain this? You do the hot all three, then the bass note, and then the top, and then the bass note. Can you see that? So you're doing all three bass note, top bass note, or should we call it A thumb? Let's call it thumb. So he's doing all three thumb, top two thumb. Simple as that. Okay, all three thumb, top two thumb. So it's, that's what it's going to sound like. All three thumb, top two thumb, and it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. And then in the left hand, we put the B in again. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, just like that. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four. All right. It's written in there for you. I'll do it one more time. One. Two, three, four. We're going down to E now. Same again. One, two, but then he switches to the other pattern, you know, already. Does that make sense? And my cat complaining. Right, so um so you've got to switch from here. I'll do it again. It's um and then switching to the other pattern for the second half. You see I've added in the A at the top there. So this second bar. Uh but do you know what? To make this simpler. Uh, you've got to switch at some point. I'm going to do it right from the start. So we're going to go thumb, index finger, and second finger like that. Okay, so we're there. And we're ready to just go straight up to here when it comes in. So it goes one, two, three, four, and then E in the bass. One, two, and now you're up to this, which is exactly the same pattern you already know from the from the beginning of this video. All right. So we're starting off one from here. One with B in the bass. One, two, three. Four, one, two, switching. You see now I'm just doing the bum bum, and then it's the same. All right, so that's the one extra nuance. That's a pain. Let me play it for you one more time. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two. Three. Do you see that nice second bar? You just go one, two, then you're adding these top three in. All right, and it's the same. Okay, that's the second complication. The third complication is these little bass notes, which we'll add in now. So, and and at this point. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated, um, but it's nice. It's, it's what makes the little nuances that make piano really nice. So I'll show you this bit, these little extra bass notes. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Now the bass basically goes one, two, three, four, and one. So do you see that adding it? He adds an extra bass note in on the and. It goes one, two, three, four, and one. It's like a lead in to the E, okay? So, and it's a pain, it's just after the A. So it goes um, one, two, three, four, and one. Do you see what I mean? And obviously, if you don't know much about pedaling, you put the right pedal down for the chord. When you play a new chord, you release it and put it down again. It's a tiny bit more complicated than that, but that'll do, if you just do that for now, that's the best thing. So um, one, two, three, four, and one. You see that on the and I put it for and it's right in between the four and the one. One, two, three, four, and one. You see that and one. Okay, and it's just the same thing's going to happen with the other changes in a second. Let me show you that. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, C sharp. One, two, three, four, F sharp here. Oh, and you're going down to this chord. One, two, three, four, and. And you see there's a lead in here. Now, if I switch to the next to the next page, you can see that you're just you're leading in your, to the B again. So you're going to go like that. So it goes. The best way of practicing it is just there's an F sharp leading in there. So you're going to go. All right. Um, I can put the whole thing like that if you want. There you go. I don't know how much that you can see. Can you see right to the end? I think you can. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so uh, you see you're gonna go, uh, oof, let's do the bass, let's do the bass. It's B, two, three, four, B, E, two, three, four, C sharp, two, three, four, F sharp. You're gonna lead in two, three, four, F sharp, B. So you're adding the lead in, you see, two, three, four, B, E, whoops, B, E, two, three, four. This is the most complicated one. You're gonna put your thumb on a D. And you're going to lead into the F sharp like this. Do you see that? You have to put the D in there. So it's ba da, two, three, four, and then you're going D, A. I say this is the most complicated bit about the whole thing. So if you learn all the rest first, you should be able to manage that okay. Um, 
whether or not you bother with that funny bit at the beginning, I, I, if you want to make it easy, I just wouldn't bother. It doesn't make much difference. I just do the basic thing I showed you at the beginning and then add these bass notes. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, no lead in, two, three, four, S sharp, two, coming with a lead in, three, four, S sharp, B, two, three, four, B, E, two, three, four, D, F sharp, well, D, F sharp, two, three, four, D, A. Get it? <laughs> and then what I would do is just break it into pieces, do one bit at a time. That's what I did. I mean, I learned it today, basically. So I just sat there and did the difficult bits, then put strung it together. Let's just go th right through first. So we're going to go one, and I'm going from here. I don't know where... Yeah, I think you can see all of that. Pretty cool. Okay. One, one oops. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four... Nice and easy, two, three, four, change the chord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, change the chord at the top, okay? And as you can see, that last one doesn't happen because it goes boom, 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 which I'll do in the next part. Hope that all makes sense. The last thing, a mm, couple of other things I'll say quickly, one is just breaking it down take the most difficult bit and work on it so i thought i found that bit quite difficult i think so i just spent ages oh yeah with the d f d a uh, d a so i went uh i went what is it so it's d d f sharp and then d a whoop d a like that d f sharp two three four d a and then you just put this hand in so i'm just leading in with the d as i start That's hard because you've got not only meant to do that, you've got to change the chord from that to that as well. So it's one, two, three, four, change the chord. You see, and I just pressed that loads this morning because that I bit I found really hard. And then, and then after I did that, then I added all this. So this bit goes I'm leading into F sharp B here. See, it's difficult, but uh, and, and and then I just slowed it down. Do it again. See, it's hard, uh, but that's what that works. And then I did the first half, then added the second half to the first half. Just break it into pieces till you get it. The really annoying thing is the co the chord stays the same pretty much all the way through until this last bar. That I always forget. What else do I always forget? Oh, and this switch here is a pain if you bother with it. All right, so you get the idea. That's everything. Uh, lastly, I was wondering what I was going to tell you. I'll tell you really quickly a bit of the theory because I just feel like it's just a it's a shame to play these things blind. A lot of classical musicians do that. They can read music well. They have no idea what's going on. I mean, some of them, the top quality, you know, ones at the academies and everything, they know what's happening. But a lot of classical pianists, grade eight, they have no idea that what they're playing. They're just playing notes on the page. So I think it's good to always talk about what's happening with the chords. So the basic chords here um this is in the key of a that means the notes are a uh, a b c sharp d e f sharp g sharp a you've got them all there one two five seven eight um in any key the major chords are always built on the first the fourth and the fifth note scale so it's a d and e in this key all right and the minus chords the, the settling chord is always six so it'd be f sharp minor and then b sharp minor and c sharp six two and three uh f sharp B and C sharp minor, all them minor, right? Um, I'll stick with that for now. And then, so you see, this is going from chord two to five to one to six. So we're going from chord two, two to chord five, which is E, to chord one with a C sharp in the bass, okay, to six, F sharp. See what's happening there? B minor, E. A with C sharp and laced F sharp, then back to B minor, to E, which is chord 5, to the F sharp, to A. That's basically what's happening. So we're going from chord 2 to, fa two to 5 to 1 to 6. 2 to 5 to 1 to 6. And then the other second line then is 2 to 5 to 6. 
to one. You're just reversing these two chords. Always very simple. Pop songs is very simple. It tends to just be four chord sequences. There you go. A little bit of theory for you. I suspect when I look at the stats that everyone will have stopped the video before that. Anyway, um, uh, next I'll do the rest of the verse. So look out for part three and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Please like and please comment. It really means everything to me when someone comments because I know that people are actually watching it. Um, thanks so much for support and hopefully see you soon.